Hey guys and girls, White Ninja Art here with some Torchlight 2. This is not really going to be a, a gameplay video. This is more of an actual update. Um, uh, Torchlight have actually uh, teamed up with Steam, if, for those who didn't know. Uh, so they are now supported by Steam Workshop. So I just thought I'd do a little video um, on just some of the content that's been added to the game. I don't play this game as much as I used to. Well, no, I know near as much, but I do try and keep up to date with some of the things that have come in. <coughs> Um, so if you've watched my last video on mods, go and check that out, um, but now there's uh, quite a lot of new features that have come in. Um, I'll go through a couple of them. Uh, as I do this, I'm going to log out the game and show you a couple of things as I speak about them. But um, basically, f for the first thing for about mods, is there was a difficult and complex way of making mods into the game. You had to go into your files and stuff like that. Uh, now there's a simpler way, you can just subscribe to a, a page in Steam Workshop and you can automatically add it to your game. The only problem is at the minute I've noticed is by modding you have to start game again. Um, you can't actually add mods into your actual game, you have to start from the beginning. It seems pretty pointless and stupid so um, I don't know if anyone knows how to change that. But until that happens, unlucky, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, there's also a new filter in the games. Um, now that's it's a mod filter so you can actually look at certain mods in the game so you can actually pick ones out so you don't have to be in certain games with them so that's something um, something pretty pretty good so a few of the features in the game um, there's some some new um, nether never realm dungeons throughout the game um, I'm not sure where they are yet obviously they could be anywhere I think they could be uh, obviously at the uh, last boss because he's a never lord but I'm not sure I've not I've not been out to look for him uh, so they could be anywhere, but that's uh, one of the new features. Another one's new monsters. Um, you, they're obviously stuff you'll just have to go and find out yourself as you play. Uh, new monsters, obviously, part of it. Uh, what else we got? We have got um, some new armor sets. I've not actually seen any yet, but supposedly they're out there, and some new armor sets out there. So obviously, keep an eye out for them, guys. Uh, there's new weapons as well. Um, I don't know if these are legendaries or just uniques or what. So. That's another thing to keep looking out for. There's new pets. Now I'll come back to that later and show you what pets they are. Uh, I think there's like three or four different ones. Or four different ones I believe it is. So there's four new pets um, to choose from in the game. I don't know if it makes any difference on attack damage or defense or anything like that. Maybe it's just a, a thing just to look at something different. Uh, so there's new end game map content. That's something to look into. I don't know if that means map works or not. Um, I suppose I could go and have a look. I should have map works anyway. Yep. Um, let's have a look. Uh, right, so by the looks of it, it's just normal map works there. So it could be something totally different. So that's something to look for, guys. And um, there's supposedly new dungeons when you complete new game pluses. So um, that these are random, uh, random su suffixes throughout the game. So they could be anywhere throughout the game they could but there is probably new dungeons to go out uh, and explore for so obviously keep them in mind guys they're obviously trying to get the game um relaunched again somewhat because obviously it's been a bit neglected i think to be honest uh, i know there was meant to be a big hype on adding mods to your games but um to be honest i don't think many people nowhere near as many people play this game as they used to which is a bit irritating so what i'm going to do is uh, just add a couple of words in there so I can show you the new ones so we've got an alpaca as you can see just just on the right there it looks very interesting um, let's see panther cat cat's not new no uh, you got a stag that's new um, so why you'd want that I, I don't know but okay yes yeah, so we've got a stag we've also got a, um, a head crab I don't I don't even know what that is what is that does anyone know what that is anybody please tell me what that is I have no idea um, and there's also one more panda. So you can have a panda now as well. So I don't know where they've got that from. Maybe that's from World of Warcraft when they went for the panda look. Uh, I have no idea. But that's what they've gone for. So that's pretty much it for the update, um, guys. There's not. It, there is some new stuff. I think the biggest thing is the Steam Workshop now. So um, hopefully the mods and stuff like that will start getting a bit better. And hopefully this game will launch off and get a bit bigger again because people might start playing it a bit more. Um, so, guys, a question. I, I've started playing League of Legends. Now, do you want to make some videos or completions of me playing that game? Or would you rather me just play it in my spare time, sort of thing? I'm thinking about putting one upload at least on there anyway. Um, it, it's a bit more difficult to 
common and play at the same time because there's a lot of concentration in that game. So, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been something maybe new if you've not already noticed the update on Torchlight already. Uh, thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for some more of my update videos or walkthroughs on any other games I'm doing at the minute. And stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.